Assalamu alaikum Samir, what is your advice to players who have European and other African nationalities? Maghreb to be more specific and have not yet chosen any team they represent. I think it depends on how you feel. If uh, the country that you can represent, your roots, are a good national team, and if you see that for instance, if you're French and in your position there is a lot of flair and you're 20, 21 mm. and you are not picked yet, I think you should choose your, your, your country of origin. Hi Samir, as a former Manchester City player, do you think Riyad Mahrez should start looking for a new club or remain patient as a French player? I had to talk with him. Uh, last last season when we play uh, Manchester City with West Ham and uh, it's a tricky one it's a tricky one uh, because for me he has the quality to play but Raheem Sterling and Bernardo Silva are on fire right now mm -hmm. so it's a really tricky one every time he plays he's good and they spend a lot of money for him it depends on his relationship with the coach that's all it depends. If he knows that the coach doesn't really like him and he will always be a second chance, no matter the contract that you have, leave just to play, just to show your talent to everyone. Okay. Hello, Samir. Since you're originally Algerian, do you not consider opening a football academy or any project that benefits the youth of Algeria? <laughs> I think there is a, a really good academy, uh, Badu, where Youssef Atal and uh, Ben Sebaini came from and uh, this could be something interesting, yeah? Like you never forget where you come from and if you, ca if you can help them by any means or any way, you should do it. So why not? Okay. Hi Samir, how does your life look like after football? Maybe a coaching career or will you stay away from football? Uh, I can stay away from football. Uh, I've been in it since I'm like three or four years old so I would love to become a manager and uh, that's something that 